My name is Brennan Wirtz and I am a professional gravel racer. So one important reason for why I'm here in Italy is the Gran Fondo Pinarello, an iconic race that's held here in Treviso. And the course goes out and tours through a lot of the terrain surrounding the Pinarello headquarters. It's really a, a beautiful place to ride a bike and it's a fun and fast event to take part in. One very memorable moment while I was in Treviso was getting a tour of the facility from Fausto Pinarello himself. The, the frames all still bear his name, so to have the opportunity to walk around with him and get a little bit of a glimpse behind the scenes and how these bikes are ultimately put together was really a, a cool and valuable experience for me. Each frame is unique from the next one and they're all painted by hand and they all have slight little differences, so that was really cool. Back in the early 50s, Fausto Pinarello's father, Giovanni, was racing in the Giro d'Italia and he won the prestigious award of the Maglia Nera, which is the black jersey, which is awarded to the last rider to complete the Giro. And when he won this award, his team ended his contract, but he was paid some form of a severance. And with this severance, he decided to retire from racing and start a business. The business would turn into what is now Pinarello. They've then continued to have a really, really high level focus on racing, on race bikes, and now gravel with what we're doing. It's really cool to see how important racing is for this iconic event. After wrapping things up in Treviso at the headquarters, it was then time to head off into the mountains to the Dolomites to explore and train and prepare for the remainder of the season. When I'm doing most of my training in Marin County in California, you know, I have this diverse landscape to train. I've got lots of gravel roads and single track, steep climbs and rollers. But the longest climb I can do in a consistent pace, a steady climb is about 30 minutes long. Whereas in the Dolomites, there are climbs there that could take two hours. You just work your way up and in some occasions climb from one country into another. It also made for really good training, especially when preparing for some of these longer gravel races we have later in the season. You know, maybe I'm not on paper a skinny lightweight climber who is most at home on these high mountain passes, but that's not to say that I didn't really enjoy riding them. And I think it's important to take those challenges on because in doing so, that's how you improve. That's how I became a better climber and an all around better rider was to step outside of my comfort zone a little bit, go to a place with these massive climbs and spend so many days climbing. It, it really, it does make a big difference and it's fun to take on those challenges and, and see really what we're capable of. I think that's really important. interesting about gravel racing is when you're in the thick of the race and you're in those moments, you may be in a beautiful landscape riding through the mountains on these beautiful picturesque roads, but in that moment, all you're focusing on is the wheel in front of you or the gap in front of you to the next competitor that you're trying to close or dodging the flying rocks. When you're in those positions and in that chaos state of the race, there's all sorts of craziness occurring around you. Just staying calm and focusing on really what you can control. I hope I can show people how amazing the sport of gravel riding is and just riding a bike in general and the places you can go and the things that you can see and all the different journeys and experiences you can have on two wheels and that's, that's ultimately my goal with this whole thing.